This ALS patient, Casey Harrell, lost his ability to speak, but now... It feels a lot like me. Harrell talking again through a revolutionary brain implant, an AI-powered app. It makes people cry who have not heard me in a while. This video, provided by UC Davis Health, where the technology was developed, shows how brain activity is translated into speech. And not just any speech, but a version of Harold's own voice, cloned with machine learning using previous recordings. We're putting electrode arrays into what's called the speech motor cortex. We're listening into all of these couple hundred neurons that we can detect. And we're then we're using some machine learning algorithms to decipher what that pattern of neural activity means. The technology is still in the early stages of testing, but already it's much faster than more traditional assistive devices, like the one Stephen Hawking famously used, that track muscle, facial, or eye movements to slowly type out words. If you walked in the room and you said, hey, how are you? I think you could get a response back in about 10 or 20 seconds. And researchers say in a new study published in the New England Journal of Medicine that it's 97% accurate, which they tell us is on par with the listening abilities of standard voice assistants like Siri. The technology, life-changing for both Harold and his family. Not being able to communicate is so frustrating and demoralizing. It is like you are trapped. It would move where I wanted to. Others working on unlocking the power of brain implant technology as well. Elon Musk's Neuralink company made headlines earlier this year after posting a video apparently showing a paralyzed man using implant technology to play chess on a computer. Massachusetts General Hospital, Stanford University, and other startups pushing ahead too. There are a lot of new startups. One of the biggest advances that they're doing is they're making this whole system fully wireless. Harold, hoping many more can benefit from work like this. I hope that we are at a time when everyone who is like me have the same opportunity as I do to have a device like this that will help them communicate. That's exciting. Let's bring in Dr. John Torres for more on this. John, how, how quickly does this work? And can you give us some context into how accurate it really is? And Tom, like you said, this is very, very exciting. And the way it worked is the first day they used it, which is 25 days after surgery, they had a 99.6% accuracy, but they only had a 50-word vocabulary. They trained it for another day, trained Casey for another day, had to use it. The next day, the accuracy dropped down to 90.2%, but his vocabulary went up to 100 25,000 words. Wow. That's more than you and I can talk about. And so they would try it for another eight months, trained him, trained the machine, trained the software, and the accuracy went to 97.5%. And Casey says, and the researchers say, the first time he talked and people were hearing his voice, everybody in the room cried, Tom. That's how emotional this is for them. I just had a friend die of ALS, so it certainly makes you think about uh, what, what if, right? How this could have changed his life. Exactly. Uh, John, thanks. Dr. John Torres. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.